So, as the web view has actually existed since the, since the beginning of Android, it was added in API level 1. Of course, it belongs to the Android WebKit package. It's a simple view that can be used to display web pages, of course, in our Android activity. You can also use it to load a full website, okay? Of course, load a full website. You can also even use it to create your own browser. So, what we're going to see today is simple. We're going to see how to load, of course, our website online in our web view, right? Just right within our activity. We're also going to see how to load an HTML file from the assets folder. And lastly, how to load a string, okay? An HTML string. Uh, right of course within our code so that's it you can see this right is our site composure.info you can see our web is actually rendering it in a nice way over here that's it guys this is what we're going to see now let's come and load from the assets if we click the assets from our menu you can see this is the html file that of course we've loaded from the assets okay we can also come and then load from a string Right, you can see right here. So we can load from uh, a URL that is from online. We can also load from the assets. We can also load from just a string. That's it. Let's move over to our code. So the very first thing I require you to jump over to Android Studio. Go ahead. First, of course, you create your project. Type the application name. Okay. Then, of course, the minimum SDK. We're going to choose. For me, I'll do with the P level 15. Then, of course, as the template load, we're going to choose the basic activity. So, choose the basic activity. Then, of course, click finish. If you click finish, of course, it's going to create for you our project. Okay? So, of course, this is our WebView project. We're not using any third-party uh, library. Instead, what we're going to do, let's move over to our build.gradle. Okay? The app level build.gradle. What are you doing here? Well, first, of course, we specify our minimum SDK version, target SDK version. By default, Android Studio is going to specify those ones. The libraries we're going to add, of course, and comes, of course, with the SDK. First, the app compat. Remember, our main activity is actually going to be deriving from the app compat activity. Okay. Then we're also going to have the design support library, uh, stuff like the floating action button. So that's it. No, we're not specifically using any third-party library. Uh, that's that's now first the first thing before we proceed on. Let's move over to our Android manifest.xml. What we're going to do right here, we're going to add the permission for accessing the internet. Remember, our web view project, of course, is going to be loading uh, a website from, of course, the internet. So we need the permission for that one. So come right here add this permission now if you don't add the permission your web view will not be able to load uh, from my url from online okay it's so you will going to be able to load from the assets folder or from a string so go ahead at that particular permission right there now once we have that one let's come over to our layouts of course we chose the basic activity as our template so it's going to generate for us two layouts activity main as well as the content main so with the activity main right here you can see we have the app by layout toolbar the floating action button added to us by, the def by default uh, of course content main is included now what's the purpose of the content main this is all going to include of course our views now in this case our web view so go ahead include it right here then of course assign it an id because we're going to be referencing it from within our code so once we have that one the next thing is to come we need the assets okay we need to create the assets folder by default of course it's not going to be visible in your it's not going to be available in your android studio so to create the assets folder right click your app package come right here then folder then choose the assets folder okay so what's the target uh, source of course it's the main so leave it as the main then click finish it's going to create the assets folder so the assets folder this is where you can include your assets that of course you can load just from within so let's come right here to our first 
create an HTML file, just you can create it using some other editors and then just drag it to the assets folder. Now you can see this is an HTML file. We have the header section, the title, right here, composure. Then of course we have right here this is just a basic html go ahead create the html right there then of course i drag it to our assets folder okay we're going to be loading it from within our web in our android app next we're going to move to our main activity this is the only class we have all right so first of course there are some imports uh right here let's go ahead and optimize them being that it's an activity of course it's deriving from the app compact activity Web view, web view. So, web view, this is the only view we're going to be using. Okay, so first inside our main on create, the on create method is going to be get called actually when our activity is being created. Okay, so it's get created, we inflate our layout, our dot layout dot activity main. So, inside this method, we are simply referencing our web view. So, find view by id r.id dot my web view okay so how are we going to load our website so to do so of course we're going to do so uh in fact let's come right here to our menu so in the uh, menu main dot xml go ahead add these three menu items okay these menu items this is going to be able to select to switch between uh, loading from a url loading from the access and then of course loading from a string so you just specify the id you specify of course the title and then of course uh, app shows action and never so we have these three url of course assets and then string please make sure that you add them because we're going to be switching uh, through those menu items then of course inside our own options item selected right here of course our menu is going to get inflated right here okay then on options item selected we're being passed a menu item first we get its id item dot get item id to give us the id for that particular for a single uh, menu item so we're going to be switching through the ids if id equal to r dot id dot url id that is if these are selected the url then of course we're going to load from the url webview dot load url composure dot info so that's how we're going to load from the url is actually that simple right so else if id dot equal to r dot id dot assets id if the user selects the assets if he wants to load from the assets webview dot load file android asset compo dot html does it that's how we're going to load from the assets folder otherwise if the user selected the string if id equal to r dot id dot string id string html we come type your html inside this particular string okay it's a multi-line string so go ahead type your html uh, right there then of course this same round we're not using load url instead we're using the load data so we view dot load data html okay then of course we pass in the mime type which is text slash html then of course the encoding which is the utf8 so we will load data html then of course text html utf8 that's it that's how we're going to load our data as well as our html data as well as our url our website right inside our web view so does it guys it's just simple go ahead run the project also uh, leaving the source code inside in our website so we'll attach the link right there go ahead download it then of course import it to android studio all right so that's it make sure you guys subscribe to our channel okay program users tv also like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class